All right, I'm going to be replacing the radio in my 2013 Jetta. Um, I just bought one of these touchscreen um, all-in-one type radios. So we're going to put it in and see what it looks like. Um, the first step is going to be we're going to have to pry this off, which I'm going to start from the bottom, and I'm actually just going to take it. I'm going to pry it off. It should come right out. I just pulled off one little side. And I'm just going to do this one-handed and see if I can get it off nice and easy so I can show you. But it, basically, we're just going to nice and easy pull it around. That part's out, and I'm going to keep going all the way up. That part went pretty easy. I literally just pulled it all around, and now I'm popping it off. There is a little cable connected down there, so I'm just going to lean that forward because I shouldn't need to get it out any more than that. Now I need to take a Torx screwdriver. I believe it's a 20 and pull off these four screws. Alright, I got out all the screws. This is a Torx screwdriver. This is the one that you need. Um, now I'm basically just going to slide the radio forward. It should come right out. I don't think there's any clips. All right, that's what's hooked up in the back, so I'm going to unplug those. Alright, I've got the new radio plugged in and in place. Now I'm just going to reverse the process. I'm going to put the four screws back in, and we're going to put the dashboard back on, and we'll give it a shot. All right, I put the radio back in. Um, I just finished putting on the trim plate, and everything looks good. Um, if you get a radio that is a direct replacement, then the swap is is pretty easy. I mean, the whole thing literally took about I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, and it looks really good. And you know what? Now we got an upgraded radio, so I think we're in good shape. Anyway, good luck with your project.